So guys, it's not really a good day. I think I blew the torque converter out of my 99 7.3 uh, liter power stroke. Um, went to go pick that thing up from the dealership after getting some warranty work done. And um, when I put it in drive, it just did not go. A while ago, I tightened the feed bolts, put a shift kit in it, drove fine. I mean, I probably put 500 or so miles on that. But then it just died. We picked up a new stock torque converter. We're gonna go throw it in right now. Um, we're actually gonna pick up the truck, we'll throw it on our buddy's lift, get the training out, do all that, and just hope for the best that that solves our issue because I wanna drive that thing. And frankly, it drove funny this entire time. So I'm hoping this torque converter has been on its way out for a minute, and when we throw it in there, it's even a bigger animal. And that's why I love this guy, guys, because this six speed has uh, not failed me yet. Except the clutch we put in it at like 3,000 miles, because obviously I added some horsepower to it. And now I added a lot more horsepower to it, but the lot more horsepower and the South Bend dual disc, this G56 has outperformed any transmission I've ever owned. And that's coming, that's like truthfully, which is very, my 06 with a 48 RFE. Yeah, I blew that one up, blew up this 4R100. And I said if I had the banana long enough, I probably would have burned it. I probably would have blew up that 68, so uh, that's why I love my stick shifts. Cool too, but let's just be an old one.
Yeah. yeah. So, did you see light down there? Why? Uh, light, like the like green ones. Why is it stopping? Wait, they stop. Because I was like, I was looking for it earlier, and I'm like, what the fuck this thing is? And then he said something about it, and I'm like, yeah, that bitch is probably hurt. It's really not even on the stick? Nope. Cool. There's one more, one more chance. There's one more chance. I'm gonna pull it outside and just burn out. Or I don't know. Right, guys well unfortunately what we figured out with the 7.3 is the torque converter definitely was smoked I truly think it was smoked because um, after that there was improvement but what I think is actually the problem is the forward clutch is is gone so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order a rebuild kit for the transmission and we're gonna tackle it ourselves I know that's what you guys love about me and this channel and all of that that I just dig right in and that's what we're gonna do like I said I bought the truck a long time ago as a full-out project and um, it's literally, I bought the truck for 3,500 bucks, so paying somebody 3,500 bucks to rebuild a tranny or whatever, just, it doesn't make any sense. But buying a four to $800 rebuild kit that gives us slight improvement over stock and doing it myself is definitely worth it. So what we're gonna do is actually go back and pull that tranny again, and we're gonna completely disassemble it. We're gonna take everything apart. We're gonna sandblast the case. We're gonna powder coat the case. We're gonna reassemble the tranny, the whole nine. Um, we're gonna do that, and um, we're gonna do that soon. And how soon, you may ask? Well, the answer is right here. We have an entire transmission rebuild about to happen. We got a new band, new upgraded clutch packs, new steels. I also ordered a 45 element Sprag, an upgraded servo piston, a brand new transmission filter, and an entire rebuild kit with all the seals and everything. All of the rest of the stuff should be here early next week and we can pull that 4R100 out and we can start rebuilding. This is gonna be a fun experience. Like I said, these are the up, they made um, two kind of sets here. These are the upgraded ones. They're supposed to be made for a semi street build, higher horsepower build, um, these clutch packs. So I ordered these. Um, obviously because of the upgrades we've done to the truck you can order a um, standard rebuild kit with the normal um, clutch packs and it takes about 100 150 200 bucks off of your entire order and then obviously with those clutch packs and an upgraded like billet input output shafts um, billet forward drum stuff like that you can increase the horsepower um, well the holding horsepower of that transmission or I guess the holding capabilities of the transmission by upgrading more and more parts But like I said, we upgraded the clutch packs. Um, we upgraded the valve body. We did the shift kit We did all that we're gonna put the um, rest of the trans go kit in now that the transmission will be a part that fourth gear holding ring um, We're gonna put that in and our 4R100 should be able to hold all the horsepower we have in the truck and like what it can actually throw at the 4R100 so this situation going on here 
we should be good to go. And for you guys wondering, like, where's the Bronco build? Where is it happening? Obviously, it's not here. Um, the video is already filmed. The Bronco is torn down. It, it all ev every body panel is off the Bronco. Every last one already. The video's filmed. It's on this memory card. You just got to see this one first, and that video will be posted. Um, hopefully early this upcoming week. But the Bronco build has officially started. We're gonna get that whole body kit on. We're gonna get this 4100 built. Um, sooner or later, we're gonna be making room here. We're gonna be getting rid of some things. If anyone's interested in the Jeep, let me know. I'm um, just throwing it out there right now. Gonna be making room for new builds, new stuff. Like, uh, there's a lot of stuff coming you guys aren't, or ha don't see coming. I promise you that. Um, truly, 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 so. Like I said, guys, Bronco's already torn down. The video's on the memory card. This video is being filmed on already. Um, I just kind of came in here, tapped in, because some of our parts came for our transmission rebuild. I'm super excited to knock um, and dig into one of these. I've never built or rebuilt a transmission, so why not try um, on a truck where I really wanted to do everything and learn a lot. So that's what we got going on, guys. If you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down and click subscribe. Drop me a comment if you haven't already. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next one.